Good evening, I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. The FDA has authorized a second pill to treat COVID-19. Today, the agency announced that Merck's antiviral pill, Molnupiravir, can be used to treat mild to moderate COVID-19 in adults. This is the second pill authorized for sick people to take at home before they get sick enough to be hospitalized. In an agreement with the U.S. government, Merck will supply 3.1 million courses of the drug. Data showed the new antiviral drug cut the risk of hospitalization or even death by 30% for high-risk adults. The FDA authorized Pfizer's anti-pill Paxlovid on Wednesday. And if you're planning on flying out of the Bakersfield Meadows Airport this holiday season, officials say to brace yourself for possible delays or cancellations. ABC News is reporting that with the increasing concern around the Omicron variant, United Airlines has preemptively canceled 112 flights for Christmas Eve. Meadows Field says COVID-19 has been changing flight schedules daily. So check with your airline for the latest information about your flight and try to reach the airport about an hour and a half before takeoff. And today, more men and women officially became the newest members of the Bakersfield Police Department. The graduating class had their ceremony officially this morning, and the event was at the Bakersfield First Assembly of God. Due to COVID restrictions, the event was not open to the public. And we're tracking rain still across much of California, but things are starting to wind down here in Kern County. We do still see a couple of lingering showers to our west, so we're not completely done with the rain. We'll have a couple more showers move in overnight and early into the day on Friday, but bulk of the rain has fallen out of this storm. So we look forward to our next storm now. That's Christmas into the day after. What we're tracking, rain arriving Christmas afternoon, not as heavy as this last band of rain. The big concern though, snow levels falling through Christmas night. By the time we get to Sunday morning, the snow levels down to about 3,000 feet. That means the potential for snow at pass level, which means the potential for delays, even closures if things get bad. So let's get into the 7 day forecast. 60% chance of rain tomorrow early in the day. Really not expecting a lot in the way of rain though. Just some light showers hours here for Christmas Day. I think the rain holds off until afternoon and lingers into early Sunday. And again, we do have the potential for mountain snow there that we'll talk about in a second. Another storm Monday, another storm Wednesday. Very busy seven day forecast here. Mountain communities. We do see those snow chances really increasing. It's late Saturday night into Sunday, so late Christmas night into early on Sunday. And then again, those storms Monday and also on Wednesday have the potential for mountain snow. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23.com.